everyone, I'm Allison, and for today's workout, we're doing a full body Tabata session. But before we begin, make sure to tap that subscribe button and tap the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos. For this workout, we'll be doing four circuit rounds containing two exercises each, one strength and one cardio. Each exercise will only be 20 seconds long with a short 10 second break in between sets and will repeat it eight times. All you need is a pair of moderate weights, a mat, and some water. This workout does not include a warm-up or cool-down, so make sure to do this on your own. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here are your exercises for circuit number one. The first move is an inchworm walkout, airplane jump to a walk back. I'll show you what this looks like. Starting on the end of the mat, give yourself a little bit of room in front. Keeping the knees soft, the abs tight, and the back flat, we're going to gently walk those hands out, go into a high plank position, jump those feet into that bare plank, jump back out, and then walk back up to stand. And then do it again. Walk out, jump in, jump out, walk back, come up. The second exercise in the first circuit is alternating front and side raises. Now with this move, we're going to have one arm going front, the other arm going side. So palms facing in, we lift up, bring it down, rotate other way. Lift and then lower, smooth and controlled. Here 
here are your moves for circuit number two. Grabbing your weights, we're doing lateral tap outs with an alternating press down. What this looks like is we're going to have our elbows high, we're going to tap out, bring it back up, tap out, bring it up. So this one combines strength and cardio. If you don't want to hold the weights, modify this movement without. Bring the arms up in the same position, tap side and reach. For the second move, we're doing a set of chest fly pumps. For this move, we're going to bring those arms up 90 degrees, palms facing the ceiling. We're going to bring it in, pump up, and then open up, working a little bit of chest and shoulders. circuit number three. Starting off is quick side to side squats. Have your feet in a squat position, do a soft bend in the knees, we're going to do a half squat, light jump at the feet, squat down, down and up. If you want to work a little bit harder, you're more than welcome to reach towards the ground. If you want to work lighter, 
Take off that hop and tap side to side. The second exercise in circuit three is dumbbell pickups with an overhead press. Take one dumbbell and lie it down horizontally in front of you. Squat down, reach one hand, press overhead, bring it down, come up to stand, and then get the other side. Reach, press overhead, and lower. circuit. Starting off is lying down skull crushers with a hip bridge march. Take your weights and then carefully lie all the way down. Now for this move we're going to go into a hip bridge position so tighten the abs, tuck the pelvis and lift those hips up. Once you have that extend those arms. Now for the arm movement we're taking the head of the dumbbells towards the forehead and then driving up. Now the option for this move is to add that hip bridge march. Keeping the hips steady. Inhale, exhale, drive up. 
And for that second exercise in circuit number four, we're doing a set of plank jacks. Go into a high plank position with the palms down, toes are down, abs tight, squeeze the glutes. From here, we're jumping out and in, keeping those hips as steady as you can. Modify this with toe taps instead. completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Instagram at AliFitATL for more daily workouts.